Hey everyone, today I'm going to unbox the Huion Canvas Pro 16 Plus 4K. First of all, big thanks to Huion for providing this review unit. Now this is just going to be an unboxing video where I talk about my first impression and also some features for this pen display. The full detailed review will be out in a few weeks time. And if you guys have any questions or if you have things that you want me to test, please let me know in the comment section below so that I can address them in the full review. First thing you should know is there are two models for this pen display. There is the Canvas Pro 16, which at the time of this video is priced at 829 US dollars. And there is the Plus model, which is 899 US dollars. The standard model supports up to 120% RGB which translates to around 92% Adobe RGB. For this plus model, this uses quantum dot technology and supports up to 145% sRGB which translates to around 100% Adobe RGB. Contrast ratio for this plus model is 1200 to 1. For the standard model is 1000 to 1. And interestingly, the maximum brightness for this plus model, it's rated at 200 nits, but for the standard model, it's 220 nits. So the standard model is going to be slightly brighter than this. The stand is included, and these are all the accessories. There are four cables, USB-C to USB-C. So you can connect the pen display to your computer using this single cable for data, video, and power. And if for some reason your computer doesn't provide enough power through the USB-C port, then you will need to use this additional cable for power. This is USB-A to USB-C. And this is the extension cable for this. You can see they are red in color. And the last cable is this three in one cable or three to one cable this is for the power this is usb type a full size hdmi and usb type a for the data and this side here is usb c this will go to the pen display if your computer can output video signal through usb c then this is the single cable you can use plus this if you need additional power if your computer does not have usb c then you're going to need to use this and you will need full-size HDMI port, otherwise you will have to buy your own adapter. This is the USB power adapter. You can choose the appropriate plug for your country. Here it says Qualcomm Quick Charge 3. And this is the specification. If you have another adapter that you are using for your tablet, phone or anything else, just make sure that the specification is the same so that you can use the pen display with your old adapter. The stand for the pen, so you can have the pen horizontally or vertically like this. And you can twist the top here to find 10 replacement nibs inside and that's the nib remover. This is the Huion PW517 pen, which supports Pentec 3. Basically, it just means that this pen is more accurate compared to the previous model that uses Pentec 2. And this pen supports tilt sensitivity as well as slightly over 8,000 levels of pressure sensitivity. There are two side buttons and a big rubber grip. It's quite comfortable to hold. There is very minimal movement with the pen tip, so this is quite firm. This pen is not powered by battery, so no charging required. This is the pen pouch for the pen. The material is some PU leather-like material. And there is a drawstring here. Nice. Our stand is included. The model number is ST200. So this is a metal stand with two large pieces of rubber here on the side. And there is this latch here for you to place the pen display. Build quality for the stand is good. You can pop out this part here and place it in one of the three grooves here for three positions or three angles. And you can pop out this part here for three angles as well. So you get a total of six angles that you can use to deploy the pen display. And there is this rubber uh, thing here for you to lock this plate into place. And there are four rubber feet on the 
back. Inside this plastic packaging, there is a microfiber cleaning cloth, a circular card that tells you where you can download the driver, the quick start guide, and one artist glove. So this is the pen display, which by the way is actually a monitor that you can draw on. So you do need to connect this to a computer in order to use this. This is not a tablet. It doesn't have any built-in battery or any OS in it. Let's peel off the plastic protector on the display. This pen display does not have a screen protector. The surface is matte glass. And as you can see, it's quite thin, thinner than my 15 inch laptop. And the overall design, it looks really good with the rounded corners. On the back, we have this matte, almost metal-like texture to it. The design is very clean and simple. And the surface um, is really nice to draw on. This pen display is currently connected to my Mac Mini using this USB-C cable. And the USB-C port is able to provide enough power to power this pen display. So that's great. This is a very simple, clean and minimalist setup without the cable clutter. Now this USB-C port is just one meter long. It's not that long. If you use the three to one cable, this will go here and this two or this three will go to the computer. This cable is 1.5 meters long. And I've just connected this Samsung tablet to the pen display. This tablet is not able to power the pen display. That's why you see it flickering. So for this connection to work properly, I will have to connect additional USB-C power here. And now I have this connected to my MacBook Pro, which is running Windows 10. I'm using the HDMI and USB Type-A connection. And this USB port is able to provide enough power to power this pen display as well. So I don't have to use this. I don't have to connect this to additional power. Let me just prop up this pen display for you guys to see. You will definitely need to use the stand provided because uh, on the back, there is actually no rubber support. So if you use this on the table, it's going to glide around because the back is really smooth. This laptop is 15.6 inches and this is also 15.6 inches. So having two display at the same size, fantastic. Sorry about the fan noise. I'm not sure why the fans are turning at full speed even though I only have the driver and the browser open. This pen display only has one button and that's the power button. So if you want to get into the OSD, if you want to change the brightness, contrast or color temperature, you will have to do it through the driver. And because there are no buttons and not even physical shortcut buttons, if you want to use keyboard shortcuts, then you will have to use your own uh, keyboard. Or you can consider getting this uh, Huion KD100, which is a portable compact uh, shortcut key setup. You can have this on the left or on the right. Notice there are no uh, labels on the buttons. Anyway, I'll show you how to set up the keys using this in the full review. Colors on this pen display look good out of the box. I have not color calibrated this yet, so the colors here look slightly different from this on my laptop. And this is currently running at 4K resolution, 30 hertz, because for some reason, my 2015 MacBook Pro, it's not able to drive 4K at 60 hertz. I'm not sure if it's a HDMI issue or it's a Mac OS issue. Anyway, when I connected this to my Mac Mini from 2018 using the USB-C port, I was able to drive 4K at 60 hertz. So could be something wrong with this laptop. Basically, when I move the cursor around or when I move windows around, I can see stuttering movement. It's usable, yes, but not nice, obviously. Be careful of the latch of the stand because this is actually quite small. And this pen display is thicker compared to the latch. And because this is curved like this, it can slip off 
it just slipped off by the way it can slip off the edge there so be careful 4k resolution works great on displays that are around 15 to 24 inches and on this pen display it looks terrific all the user interface elements they are really sharp text fonts they are really sharp i'm not able to notice any pixelation and all the icons really sharp and very detailed the thumbnails are sharp the palettes are sharp and this scan image of my watercolor sketch it's very sharp and very detailed i cannot see individual pixels so looking at this pen display is really satisfying but this is 899 dollars the standard model is 829 dollars both models are significantly more expensive compared to the non 4k model so if you want to save money um well the lower resolution the 1080p model would be the one to get but if you have more budget wow um i've got to say that you will be very satisfied with this resolution as test pressure sensitivity so this is me drawing with very minimal pressure and this pen it's very sensitive i can get thin and thick lines very easily the transition from thin and thick lines it's very smooth notice the gap as the line tries to catch up with the pen tip that is input lag there is input lag with all pen displays in addition to input lag you can see the line it appears bit by bit that's because of my old laptop which is running this display at 30 hertz if your computer is powerful enough to run 4k at 60 hertz then the lines will appear to be smoother i mean the animation of the line appearing will be smoother the lines are able to taper quite nicely very smoothly and you can get pressure consistency as well very easily and this matte surface it's really nice to draw on if you're looking at the display from the front the colors are going to look terrific if you have a strong light source from the side you may notice some anti-glare because the drawing surface is matte so here you can see how it affects the contrast if you have light source like directly on it viewing angle is terrific the colors don't shift much i will talk more about color accuracy color calibration in the full review as well as workflow when it comes to creating digital art graphic design editing photos and videos and what you can do with the driver how you can set up shortcut keys using the kd100 key dial and i will test the pen in greater detail to see just how accurate it is whether cursor tracking is accurate whether the cursor will stray away from the pen tip depending on how you hold a pen at different areas of the display if you guys have any questions regarding this let me know in the comment section and if you are interested to buy a pen display do consider using the affiliate links that i have for you in the video description below all right thanks for watching i hope this video is helpful see you again